All right, guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. So we just went over all of the basics of Liquid. And as you can see, it's actually pretty short because it doesn't take that long to learn about Liquid. But now I want to go in and challenge you guys. So in the next two sections of this course, I'm going to do two projects. I'm going to do one project, which is for emails. And then we're going to work on uh, learning more about how to use Liquid with Shopify. But before we get to the Shopify section, I know some of you guys are going to try to skip this, but don't skip it, right? I want to go in and challenge you guys to do this email project, to really test to see if you guys understood how to use Liquid, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you guys with this file. Again, shout out to... Uh, my boy, John DeLorenzo, Delo.dev. Go check him out, right? Definitely go follow him. Do this legit, right? So go check him out. Shout out to John, right? And thank you for allowing me to share your, uh, basically your email, right? In, inside of this course. Um, but I want you guys to take this project that I have here, right? I'm going to provide you guys with the files again. It should be in the next section. And I want you guys to go in and make this whole email dynamic, okay? Now, yes, you might say, Joe, I don't want to be an email developer. Or yes, Joe, I want to be an email developer. That's what I'm here for, right? Either way, all of you guys at some point, you're going to have to do emails. And even if you are doing Shopify development, it's going to be good to understand how this works. Because guess what? When you do emails, and custom emails inside of Shopify's own platform, you're going to need to know your way around an email template. So again, slowing down and going back, the challenge is to make everything you see here dynamic. Okay. Remember, we have over here basically uh, the template, right? So this is the template where uh, where we're going to actually go in and put the location for, you know, our HTML to actually show up. Right. But then we also have over here, the section where we can pass our own data to the engine. So I want you guys to create an object and then break down everything that you see in here, as far as data and information that can be dynamic. And I'll give you an example. For example, this one, order number, that could be dynamic. And I'm going to give you a little tip on how to do this, right? Just to give you a little tip and just to make sure that you guys don't get lost. But let's say we wanted to do an order number. We could come in here and say something like this, order, right? Colon. And then anything that has to do with the order, we will put it in inside of here. Okay. So you could say something like this, like order, um, I don't know, order number, I guess, or order ID, and then put in, I don't know, some random numbers, right? Doesn't really matter. And then what you would do is you would take this and then now inside of your template, you will go in and say, Hey, I want to print out the order ID, save that. And then now inside of your project, which should be here, local host 5,500. And then that's it. Just print out the ID. So you're going to be doing that in this project, right? Like I said, we're going to provide you with the template a real email template from a real email developer, right? And we're going to go in and basically take that and find the area where the ID is, is at. And I want you guys to use uh, Liquid to go in and actually place the ID, make a dynamic, okay? Same thing for the name, right? Um, you know, the address, the city, the state, the zip code, the country, Right? You're going to do all of that for this whole email. Same thing for this. Now, this is going to be a challenge where you can also go and create multiple items. This example only has one, but you can 
go in and basically create multiple items that this person has ordered. And then from there, loop over all of them and have them show up here. Like maybe uh, throw like a, I don't know, red shoes, uh, maybe a t-shirt, maybe, you know, a hat, right? And put all those items there. You want to put in the subtotal, you want to put in the shipping, you want to put in the sales tax, you want to put in the total, right? You want to put in a link, a dynamic link that's coming from the data for the contact us page. Um, you want to put in the email, you want to put in a location for the privacy policy, right? A URL for that. You want to put in the address of the business who's sending this email, Okay make all of this dynamic now again in the next few videos we're gonna do this together but i want you guys to take this challenge try to see how far do you get right how much do you understand about liquid and how you can go in and and basically build this now if you pretty much did not understand anything then my suggestion is watch the videos again right now, if you're in a position where like, okay, I understand liquid, but I just don't know how I can make this work, right? That's fine. Then what you want to do is just watch the next few videos and we're going to build it together, okay? But this is for some of you guys that, you know, are a little bit more advanced and, and you're probably thinking, man, I should just skip this. I don't need to learn this, right? Let's go in. Let's, let's see if you could actually understand what's happening with liquid and how you can make this possible because believe it or not no matter if you are a beginner or you are somebody who has 10 20 years in the game at some point you're gonna have to do emails so no matter what you're still gonna have to do this okay so don't try to skip this try to challenge yourself and if you cannot do it on your own then you know do the project with me Okay, so I'm going to stop right here, guys, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye.